good morning my name is shana jayam from section b so here we are going to see about the assessment reforms in national education policy 2020 so before going into the assessment reforms first let's see what is the national education policy so national education policy was started by the union cabinet of india on 29 july 2020 so it outlines the vision of new education system of india so this replaces the nep which was a, a reformed in 1986 and this the policy is to have is a comprehensive framework for elementary education to higher as well as vocational training in both rural and urban india so it aims to transform india's education system by 2030 and uh, let's go into the assessment reforms holistic and continuous assessment so uh, in uh, nep there is a shift towards a holistic and continuous assessment model so it aims to elevate not only academic knowledge but also skills aptitude and socio emotional development is there so it uh, delves into the implications and uh, potential impacts and it seeks to provide a more comprehensive understanding of a student's capac- capabilities and capacities flexibility in subject choice so this nep it makes sure that there is a flexibility in subject choice like uh, promoting flexibility to allow students to pursue a broader range of subjects uh, beyond their conventional streams like fostering a more inclusive and uh, personalized education experiences it aims to cater to diverse interests and aptitudes and departure from rigid subject choices rather than having the same subjects for the students uh, there should be a flexibility in subject choice so that they will be able to learn more or explore more rationally for uh, assessment reform uh, this is uh, there we have uh, outdated uh, evaluation methods here we have the outdated evaluation methods so here the traditional examination they will have a centric evaluation system so it's with its criticized for its emphasis on uh, rote memorization providing a surface level understanding of subjects and it recognizes the need to move beyond their archaic approach like uh, earlier we'll be having rote memorization which is uh, not uh, up to the level here and it embraces the methods that encourage deeper learning and critical thinking next is the global alignment so this aligning educational practices with international standards is very imperative and the nep it acknowledges the necessity of ensuring indian assessments uh, with the global benchmarks so that it enhances the competitiveness of students in the global arena so they will be able to cope up with the global benchmarks of the other countries skill centric approach and this advocates for assessing a broader spectrum of skills every skills will be improved like uh, critical thinking creativity problem solving and practical application of knowledge so this helps in a very great sense and teacher training and capacity building professional development uh, not only for students nep has also brought up uh, assessment reforms for teacher training and capacity building here recognizing the pivotal role of teachers in implementing assessment reforms the policy emphasizes the continuous professional development here the teachers are encouraged to adapt themselves to the education landscape through various training programs and workshops as the technology has been increased so this is very important for the teachers too technology integration as i said to streamline assessment processes and enhance the learning experience to promote the integration of technology so it includes the use of digital tools for assessment fostering efficiency and innovation so through technology they can improve their classes more which will help the students to gain more knowledge and uh, they can also use this as a platform for assessing the students by giving them uh, online quizzes uh, games connecting everything through online inclusive assessment practices so here any we promote the assessment practices to accommodate diverse learning styles and needs so it include measures like differentiated assessment not the same assessment which being followed from earlier uh, to a differential assessment alternative mode of evaluation and support systems for the students with special needs so such inclusive practices it aims to foster equitable and accessible education system competency based education so the fundamental aspect of the assessment reform is the introduction of competency based education so here the approach shifts from the focus from rote memorization to assessing students ability to apply knowledge uh, think critically or solve real world problems so realignment aligns with the broader goals of skill development application in the evolving education landscape 
and change in the nature of progress code. So as the uh, NEP has uh, implemented, there will be a change in the normal progress code. Here it will be holistic and there will be 360 degree multi-dimensional report card. So this reflects the progress as well as the uniqueness of each learner about their cognitive, affective and psychomotor domains. So it includes a uh, self-assessment will be there and peer assessment as well as the teacher assessment and the parents assessment will also include of how well they, uh, they have assessed their students or their children. So the progress of child in project based or inquiry based learning uh, and quizzes, role plays, group work for portfolios along with the teacher assessment and it's also be accompanied by parent teacher meetings in order to actively involve parents in their children's learning journey. So this is the 360 degree dimensional multi-dimensional report card for students. So there will be assessment by the parents and assessment by teachers uh, uh, having all their cognitive, psychomotor and affective domains. So everything will be based on it. These are the assessment reforms by National Education Policy. Thank you.